Let's see. If I start. It is possible to get some early wings. If I start recording now, will I? Or get a lucky horseshoe. Let's see. The horseshoe can also get you the protection against fall damage. Until you get your own official wings. Okay. I'm gonna start up the recording again to see. You know, right now I'm transferring files from from my hard drive over to an external drive that I have. Um, okay. You know, lost about 20 minutes there, so that's going to be unfortunate for those who, you know. But hopefully the transfer will be faster than the recording. <laughs> uh, we'll see. All right. But in the meantime... Well, the hardware you have, you sh it should be relatively fast. Hopefully. Okay, so Paladin Hammer can't do anything with that right at this moment in time. That was the Net Lion. Oh, that's not material. What was I? Why was I this holding on to that? Like 250 hmm. blocks from. And I saw a lot of lava. Aha, that kind of goes with that. Yeah, and later. early on you got like no protection against lava. Okay. Come on. When we were looking for the Empress of Light, we were getting sharks, and now we are not getting any shark. Come on, sand sharks. Okay. Kind of, that's already been built, so we can kind of not worry about those anymore. Um, umbrella require, uh, does with search spec bar, so that's post moon lord. So that we know of. I mean, we haven't killed one boss in particular that we don't know what it drops or if it'll generate anything. Yeah. So okay, you're those, taking fifty dynamite. <laughs> those are not materials. Well, nothing easy to make a elevator uh, or a pseudo elevator. Just be sure to put at least some platforms on the way so that you don't fall to your death so quickly. At least until you get something to protect yourself from fall damage. Okay. Right, I think I made two true Excaliburs. I mean, we already have the Terra Blades already built. So I made like two extra true Excaliburs. One for the Angelic Alliance and one for the... Iridescent Excalibur, both of which are... True, you can just jump at the right moment and you should be safe. Just time that jump properly. So, probably won't be able to be... It's probably kind of like Postman Lord or so, so... Okay, let's see... Wooden bacon! Okay. Come here, piggy, I want to turn you to bacon. Wooden sword makes the broken biome blade... Which we've already, which I already kind of built, so technically don't really need that one anymore. Oh, more bacon. Um. Okay, this is a graveyard one. I don't think I really need it all that much, to be honest. But uh, let's see, Golem Fist. I've seen Heart Moon and never killed King Slime. <laughs> Well, it's easy to summon him during slime so... rain. If it's time to restrain okay. lime, just okay. go nuts with them. So, let's see. I'm not getting any sharks right now. Graveyard, that's you. Let's see. See, these were materials that were kind of used to make weapons that I already have, so that's gonna throw these down in there. Um, these weapons here, kind of, you know, what I'm kind of referring to as post Moon Lord, but, uh, you know, obviously, you know, there's, there's materials that we haven't found yet, but, you know, but yeah. Um, 
these were just weapons for some reason that aren't materials. Why they're in these chests, I don't really know. Do we have any other so... desert, maybe? Can you speak in? Yes, we have another so I can work with. That one might give me more luck. Okay. So, I think I've set up the chests here in a fashion that I can kind of organize things a little bit more. So now, I'll grab these. Oh, this is pure um, desert, so we should oh, be wait. getting more sand sharks here. Throw that down in there, I don't really need that anymore. Ooh, give me that. Give me those forbidden fragments. Oh, finally some sand sharks. I found a good spawn point for them. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Ice Boomerang plus the sh Shimmering plus the Enchanted Boomerang gives the Tremorang, which Great uh, Sand Shark has awoken. Okay. Let me know if you need a hand, but I doubt it. Um, I'm sure that you can destroy yeah, it on your own. Yeah, the easiest of the bosses. <laughs> Even easier than the pre-hard mode, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, let me go ahead right. and make the... Shark has been dealt with. Gold bar and pearl shards, okay. The gold bars. Okay, I'm going to teleport back. And... Actually, charts. I might find that way because he says. Okay, now let's see. Right, the enchanted. So there's that. You find a hive going to your old one. <laughs> yeah, hives aren't normally that far apart from each other. Okay, since the sandstorm will help a lot with the. Uh... Spawning the sharks and putting it here with the range up. What did the grand scales make again? I don't remember. I just need to do that. There oh, we hi, Alfred. The Batman finally fire you. Right. Okay, so the grand scale the one that made the tumbleweed. I already had a shifting sands. This is it's not material, it's really weak. Okay, I'll throw storm those in the down in there. There we go. Did I ever make this? I don't think I ever made this. Let's see. Now. Oh, you're hiding, hiding the guide. Okay. Let me um, move him. There, I moved. Okay. I have not the found the majestic guard. Hmm. That one's not material. Majestic guard sounds damage. very familiar, it's just I don't know. Oh, wait, first of forgotten Apex one, which I don't think we have. I found any of them. Also, the storm saber. Where's the storm saber from? I don't think I have this. Make a sand in a bottle real quick. And I'm sure I didn't make a dust storm in a bottle. I thought we also made a soul harvester as well, but that's also kind of Just missing. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make. Like the... I did make a dust storm in a bottle. Might as well check what that made again. Don't remember. Ten canisters. And there. Um, where's the... Fifteen. Right there. 
there, there. Alright, this makes the singularity thingy. But I needed the dark plasma, which we've not found dark there plasma. If for all of my builds, I need something that we've not yet located. <laughs> yep. Or aren't being generated yet. Right. I mean, I mean to, to the queen and I, <laughs> and I died. Oof. Have you been working on your build, like on your weapons? Because if you only, if you're close to hard mode, dying should be pretty hard by the queen bee. The Maybe looking to like upgrade your stuff as the best you can. Okay, I need a core of calamity, three astral bars, and three life alloys to make the true biome blade. Okay, so yeah. it was a small place. No, oh, then yeah, that will make more sense as well. Let's see. Was it? it was in three and three. In the meantime, now that the sand shark's been dealt with, what the hell are you doing down there, uh, Truffle? How in the devil did you even get down there without dying? Earth calamity. Okay. You live up on the planetoid. How did you survive the fall? <laughs> now, that's a pretty high drop. Got you like one, two. Oh, you almost had it. Let's see, what bosses are we missing? Oh, I need three of each. Just and to the of calamity. Okay. I know. Yeah. Chris Kirsch was nighttime, right? Let me see if I can spot it. Okay, I just need ectoplasm. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't see this quite as gorge, so he hasn't spawned yet. It has to be during the night then. Where's the oh there it is. Okay. Uh do, 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 do. There's that. Actually, right. hold on. Should we cover that so just in case? I know something was missing from my inventory, now I know where it is. I'll leave it there just in case. I think the ones I have might be a little better. I mean, this one fire was homing. And then we need one. This one is not maxed out. I'm gonna that. include this one. That should be the core calamity. There we go. And where are you, Tinker? There you are. This should still be able to be improved. Yeah, it should look later, and... Ta-da! Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Well, I made the true biome blade. Um, yeah. Which, you know, right now, 186 melee damage, so not too shabby right now. Um, not bad. But it's, you know, when I when I built it, it became the dull to biome blade, so it, uh, it's it has a <laughs> negative. It, it has a negative fifteen damage and negative twenty percent velocity, so it's like ugh. <laughs> so, but it is a material, so what can it be made into? I think that was 
one of them now. <laughs> okay, this, this is definitely probably post moon lord. Dark Sun Fragments nope. and Cosmolite, so uh, Galaxia. One thousand two hundred and seventy nine melee damage. Woohoo. Wow. But yeah, I can't I can't make it right now, so Yeah. I think we only have like one true biome blade. Yeah, I just uh, that's the only one that I made, so Okay, so I need to figure out where Majestic Guard is. I need a Paladin Hammer to finish off that build. And I had to find what a Storm Saber is. Everything else is pretty much... Either like post moon lord or you know it was already built and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm guessing you made the true biome blade with a broken biome blade, assuming. Yeah. And we don't have any more of them. No, no, this this was the only one that we had. So. Okay. Back in there. Okay, let's see. Let me write down what I need for these three weapons here. Again, I need the majestic oh, card. Like that, so the scorch should be spawning soon. Teleport back to Sulfuric. I need the Paladin's Hammer, which I already recorded down, and I need the Storm yeah, Saber. Right. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, right, I have all these things in the, uh, in the piggy bank that I, I haven't he... addressed yet. Just a little bit more. Okay, let me go over here. All that stuff away. After we take out the scores, we should be able to take on the Leviathan again. Okay, I'll throw the Queen Slime. No, we already took out the there. Somehow we got that one early. Trash the tombstone. Okay, let me throw these banners in their respective chests. Um, I found a magical weapon that is not a material called Night Glow. Would you like me to put it in your chest, or would you like me to sell it off? Uh, how strong is it? It gives 59 magic damage. So not really that great. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it from a perspective of, like, you know, I don't have a magic build, so... And I'll have to look at it and its side effects, maybe. And its speed. It's not looking all if that great. It's not looking all that great, but I'll put it in your, um, you know, basically your wizard four chest, where you put the okay. your stellar tune at. So I'll put I'll set it off to the side so you can kind of see it. So okay. 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 Now. Um... Where are you, Scorch? Should you be looking for me right now? Okay. Um, in some ways, I want to try to continue working on um, 
Oh wait. Okay. Andrew, you from here? Get rid of that tombstone. Get rid of that tombstone. Don't need our arena to become a graveyard. And let me see about trying to find a ferry. Oh, I found I found the ferry. You wanna fight? Um, what's her name? Empress of Light. Sure. Okay, come to me. Come to the desert. Morning. I'm here. Okay. Oh, you're coming after me. Ow, 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 ow. That hit a little too hard. Oh, right. We didn't really prep for this, did we? <laughs> Let me at least set my spawn point real quick. Spawn point set. Oh, that was a close one. Oh shit, that hurt. Ow, 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 ow. I'm almost yes. dead. dead i'm dead 10 seconds and i'm almost dead let me run away a little bit Ooh, crap. that was a close one i'm in but i'm super Ow. far away i'm dead so she'll be coming for you now oh. she went to she the dying slowly from she went to the main debuff. base oh she's dead she died from my debuff Oh, <laughs> thank goodness I cursed her. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> yeah. Um... Alright, everyone died here. I need to fly. Did you get the whip? Nope. Oh, well. Darn it. I'm gonna head back over to... Um... I'm gonna head back over there and see if uh, I can find another one of those fairies. Uh, yes, yeah, there's one already here. You wanna, you wanna Death fight? Comes to it. Yeah. You wanna? Let's go. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll make your spawn in the meantime while I take, while I keep it busy. Oh, those came for me. Oh no no no, that was a close one. I hope I deep off her. Do not see her. Close one. Oh, 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 Dodge, dodge, dodge! <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I managed to hit a debuff on her. Okay. So, doing well enough. Ow. Not so well enough anymore. Ow, 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 ow. ow. that potion. And dead. New world record. Okay, interesting. Okay. I forgot we have that. I didn't spawn my sentinel. Uh, wait, you're looking for the sentinel? I didn't close down my little guy, nor did I summon my buddies. Oh, okay. Um, because, okay, so I got, let's see, I got some weapons here. Um, uh, or, you know, I got some, some things for it. Uh, I got the Celestial Night Glow. Have you already gotten that one? Uh, Celestial Night Glow, let me look at Empress of Light real quick. There is Empress of Light. Uh, 
Uh, I got Night Glow already. Okay, what about Soaring Insignia? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I got that one. You already got the Stellar Tune, but I already handed it to you, so. Um, I also got Eventide. It's a ranged weapon. Eventide? Oh, yeah, I think I got that one as well before. I think I've, I threw it to you once before. Yeah, probably. The thing I'm missing is Starlight, uh... Kale Kaleidoscope, Wings, Terra Prisma, Rainbow Cursor. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Empress Wings are most likely just, um, the reason why it's normal. material, it's probably just, you know, normal wings that can be made into those fancier wings later. Um, yeah, the boot wing. Yeah. But obviously, you know, yeah. Starlight would be nice. The Terra Prisma would also be really nice, but obviously. Yep. Um, and Kaleidoscope uh, would be nice for you because that's a summoner's whip. Yep. So. And the Starlight's material. So is the Terra Prisma. Hmm. Well, they're not so. going to spawn anymore right now, so. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the Sulfur Sea, Scorch the... Alright, everyone's dead here. I have to teleport from the base. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to maybe... F well, I don't know. It's it's hard to say, like, you know, oh yeah, let's let's find another place to go to, when in fact it's like, you know... They're the really only hollow, <laughs> yeah. It's the only place that we can do this at, so... Um, yeah. I'd almost say... For the time being, maybe we should just move our move them to like another base for now, so they don't keep on dying. We'll just kind of remember to put them here. Yeah. Um. Actually, let me let's see. They haven't respawned yet, so. Yeah, I know. Uh, but you can typically see. Oh no, their their synergies and synergies isn't being shown. I mean, we can throw some signs up here and basically say, "Hey, we'll, uh, you know, we'll we'll put them back in here at some point." But you know, for the time being, we can basically say, "Like, hey, let's let's not have you guys here anymore. <laughs> you guys keep on dying." <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Or where are you? Well, let's leave them there for now, and we're when we're gonna do it, we then move them away. We do need to figure out how to get those portals working, though, because we do have like portal platforms, but we've not figured out how it works. See, what there's... is wrong with this cord? Why are you not spawning? Yeah, see, there's the there's the wizard, and it's like mm, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm inclined on saying mm -hmm. let's let's move him back to like the main base for right now. Actually, leave him there in case we need to teleport. We'll move him like shortly before the night starts. Oh. Let me. Check the scorch summoning thingy. Cause he did not summon it. It's, it's spawn again. And I don't remember the last time we were getting him pretty easily. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and try to fi uh, find a paladin and its hammer. That's my plan right now. Sound like him? Okay. He... Sound fine? Uh, yeah, I'll go with you in a minute. Um, oh, looking... I'm... You don't need to... Shouldn't need to. Okay, I mean, so I'm... there's two ways to get the score, so... I think I'm gonna make this item real quick to summon the scorch more easily. Okay, sounds good. Oh, 
Traveling merchant has arrived. I'll check on him in a minute. Okay. We need 20 of these sands. Oh, wait, I forgot. I, I don't have... Okay. What did you forget? Uh, I don't have something that would, um, stop, you know, it doesn't stop me from taking fall damage. Oh, you removed your wings or you removed your wings? Yeah. Coming. All right, now I'm going to check on the merchant real quick. I don't have anything of use, but who knows. Where are you? Wait, where is the merchant? They're not on the main base. They're not on the ice base. You know, the astral okay, there, base. Bleach. How is it going? How's your day been so far there, Bleach? You know, it was a wizard. You're definitely not in the jungle, which makes sense for you not to be there. And How about you? Not... I'm doing okay. Not too bad. Oh, we're down there. I forgot I had this sunken pylon. How did you get down here, anyways? Hmm. Uh, paint sprayer, mystic robe, diamond ring, nothing of use. Spikes don't really need these. There we go. Yep, it is definitely modded. It is Mediterranean calamity. So, because this is def definitely not vanilla. <laughs> nope. Normal mode, we def definitely did not go for the calamity difficulty. Yeah. Well, we weren't quite sure, like, you know, what we were gonna be, like, really facing, per se, so. Yeah, so we're gonna hang out before going full yeah. on, full on calamity. Yeah. And. Using all those extra mechanics that are locked behind. Uh, the extra difficulty. Yeah. But that is once we at least eat in normal mode. Yeah. If we even can. I think I might start playing. Does it cost money? Okay, so Terraria, you need the Terraria uh, base in order to, uh, you know, play modded, obviously. Um, and, um,. The team loader the, is free. Yeah. The this game you need so. to buy. But both are necessary. Yeah. After that you can just either get the mod from the Steam Workshop <clears throat> or from the team loader menu itself. Yeah, but both are on Steam, so Yep. Okay, right here. So mean you went this way. I'm going all over the place. Apparently there's some spots that I haven't been to or like, you know, I haven't um like I haven't oh, explored every, I haven't explored everywhere yet, so 
So I'm just kind of going around. Ooh, hammer! Wait, you got it? Yeah, I got one paladin hammer. Nice. I'm gonna go up to see what you were throwing. I mean, you know, I haven't really, yeah, I haven't really opened up anything that much more, so. I think there's a hidden room up above that we didn't open. Yeah, there's a hidden room up above that we didn't open. There it is. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Man, come on up there. Oh, I'm attacking a paladin. Where is it? Come here, you. Nothing. Damn. Yeah, I got a Celis Paladin Hammer. 104 true oh. melee damage. I have another paladin here. Oh, I hear it. There it goes. And I also got a hammer. Nice. Nice. You got a thing you came up here to get. Yep. I don't think there's any other hidden room up here. Okay. Magic missile. Okay. Yeah, no, there's no more hidden rooms. Yeah, I don't think I've uh, explored this, like, completely yet myself, so... Oh, wait, there's something up above. Or oh, there's, there's more... Like... I only saw eight. Oh, might be a cave. I sense, uh... My little mermaid can face through it. Yeah, I only see a cave. There's a torch even up there, lighting it up. Just a marble cave. Ah, and okay. uh, what looks like a pro possible mimic. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, it was shooting a paladin that was up there. So it was like going, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, it's because we're in here, probably. That, that probably. I guess anything left to farm with, we should get a spa some spare paladin shields. I think the paladin shield did make a few things for warrior and maybe rogue, I don't remember. Okay, there's a chest up here that hasn't been. Grab that. We'll leave that blue candle there since we do want the extra spawns. Yeah. Actually, hold on. That there's the button. And get rid of these uh, spikes. Another pressure plate. Oh, 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 hey, um, this might be really useful for you. Hold on. Let me throw it to you. Okay, you might have already had it before, but I don't think I've seen it before, personally. I think I have one, maybe. Maybe. I need to check if it made more than one thing, but I'm pretty sure I have one. You little paladins here. We kinda want your shield. The hell just hit me? I well, the, I mean, there's still spikes, so. No, one of those spinny balls just hit me. Oh, okay. Oh. There's still spikes, so be careful. I know. I'm just running around looking for more paladins. I'll go ahead and try to clear up the spikes that I see, so. No, go too low. Don't want to reach that boss room. I mean, to our knowledge, nothing has spawned in there yet, so... Oh, I'm gonna go have a quick look. I don't think yeah. they'll spawn anything just yet. Yeah. Something definitely gonna be post-Moon Lord. Probably. 
Is Terraria like an indie game? Never played, so just curious. Uh, it is an indie game. It was made by an indie developer. Um, so it's not something that you'll find, like, you know, from, like, like you know, large companies such as, like, EA or Blizzard or Activision or anything along those lines. So, um, but, I mean, it's been out for a long time. Um, so... Yeah, Vanilla has already quite a bit of content, and there's so, so many mods for it. Yeah. It's another Blood Moon oof. Yeah. Yeah, Blood Moons are a little too frequent. Uh, I would recommend uh, going through the Vanilla of Terraria first, before you go into any kind of, uh, you know, into the mods. But, you know, that's, you know. So, actually, hold on. Let me hold off on that for right now. Let me throw these. Right, another wall. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here yet, so... It surprised me something ha suddenly spawned down there, like an altar of some sort. I'm waiting for us to make an offering. Yeah. Kind of like the alt kind of like the astral one. Probably. Ooh, another summoning one. Yeah, there's there's been a pretty big community for Troya for for a while now, and quite a lot of people are still kind of uh, continuing to play the game. It has a lot of various difficulties that you can kind of play around with. So, you know, yeah, so it's, right now we're playing the biggest mod of them, the Calamity mod. Yeah. Um, but the difficulty, you know, like we're we're playing like the normal mode, so it's it's not really that difficult. But I mean, we're still we're still getting our asses handed to us, depending on you know the bosses that we fight. But yeah, um, maybe because the mod itself makes some bosses harder. Yeah, but when you when you're playing like vanilla, then most likely you're going to be facing off against you know really uh you know. Okay, if, take care of the uh, yeah. Rafa. Sleep well, good night. The, uh, you know, you're you're still going to be kind of dealing with a lot of, um, um, you know, uh, bosses that are going to be hard hitting on you. So, yeah, we already had a fair share of deaths already. Yeah. If you if you go into you know vanilla Terraria and you decide hey I'm gonna take on you know um, you know I want to try to get to hard mode as quickly as I can you're gonna probably die. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. uh, the that boss gonna one shot you if you're not prepared. Yeah, so. It's also very much uh, in style of like Minecraft, so you're probably going to be needing to do a lot of like wiki f uh, wiki lookups and stuff like that to like get like information from time to time. Um, so yeah, the know. game doesn't tell you what to do. Yeah, not very well anyway. Took a wrong turn somewhere. Surprised I've not encountered any new paladins yet. I mean, technically we we, we have the the hammer, so I'm kind of happy about that. But you you're right. I mean, Do you, have you any know, shield? you know, huh? Do uh, we have I have any shields. I don't think I've found any shields yet. So, uh, because if I remember correctly, the warrior can actually benefit from a 
shield well, made of the paladin shield. Well, I mean, we have we have a couple shields, you know, um, back at base, but uh, we haven't found any new shields, I should say. Like, but do we have any paladin shields? Yes. Okay, so as I long think. we have a few paladin shields, and I just need to remind myself. Okay, what do I need to mix that with? Yeah, I think we had like two shields, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but uh, from what I understand, it does, you know, you you need like three for like the three different builds. So it's it's not like you know, um, like hey, you know, we we don't need any more. It's like no, yeah, I mean we can we can use like another one, but you know. Yeah. Maybe a few, since I think we're both making like a backup warrior build. Probably. So. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, um, um, Troy isn't too expensive. I think it's. It's, it was fairly cheap, yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, you know, maybe like 20 bucks, maybe. Mm. So. And there have been the spring sales, it might be even cheaper. True. I mean, hell, I can probably look it up right now. Hold on. Uh, Terraria. There, store page. Let's see. Um, okay, you can currently buy Troya because uh, um, it's, you know, with the uh, spring sale, it's at 50% off and it's currently going for five bucks. Pretty cheap. Yep. At least for dollar standards. Yeah. So. It was ten bucks, now it's five, so and you know, seeing that I've gotten hours of you know, um game time with it and stuff like that, and it's not bad, you know, it's not it's not like I'm, you know, uh you know, like super unhappy about it or anything along those lines. It's not like, you know, super terrible. You know, I definitely got my money's worth out of it, so. Yep. You know. Oh, I found another hammer. <laughs> Lucky. Just randomly. I don't remember if it, yeah. Uh, your son must have killed it. I guess. Uh, we don't know how many things the hammer made, because I think it's the first time we actually get the hammers. True. It might make more than one thing. Yeah. Just join your Discord seems pretty cool. Right. Now, thanks for joining the Discord. Um, I mean, it's not too much of an active Discord, but, you know, um, when, you know, a topic comes up or something like that, we'll, you know, discuss something. But, you know, for the most part, it's like, you know, I, I don't really want to bother people on it, you know? Like, I don't really do, like, you know, hey, at everybody or anything along those lines. So you probably shouldn't be seeing too much along those lines. So, um, but I mean, I have a lot of like channels that are currently hidden, you know, or I should say catalogs that are currently hidden um, because I've had some people complain about, you know, the fact that, you know, I've, I've put so many like text channels and voice channels and stuff like that it's just kind of get a little too overwhelming for some so um if you want to see some of the other um categories that are available i put together a adderall um text channel so you can just go to that you can click on the reactions I'm and it. um you'll be able to um um, um, I just opened a weird looking chest. Wait, what? What do you mean by weird, uh, weird looking chest? You remember chest? that, like, 
astral looking chest. I just interacted with it and it just opened. Uh huh. Okay. And I got from it sun potion, third potion, some arrow cells, and a rogue weapon that's already godly level. That was unexpected. Indeed. Let me see what this weapon can do with a full charge. Okay, no specs are all done. That was epic. Wait, does it have homing? Oh, and it explodes. It has homing and it explodes. Oh, okay. As long as that, it does not go through solid objects. Shot come from? Incinerated by a sniper bullet. Okay. It was probably coming from off screen. Well, okay. So it's it's a kind of a weird weapon. It throws it out first, and it goes where my cursor is. The weapon, the real weapon I just got. I gotta go down and sleep, along the way, the it creates a rain of astral damage. Sounds good and there, Bleach. And it explodes more astral da damage. You have yourself a good night, sleep well, and I'll catch you next time. Uh, unfortunately, this weapon is useless within a cramped space. Because if it hits something on the way up, it just destroys itself. I wonder... I yeah, no. Doesn't follow the... Doesn't follow the cursor, unfortunately. I don't know how useful that, useful that weapon is gonna be. It ain't material either, so that's a bummer. Things for spawning here. Maybe I'll get lucky if I stay around here. Let's see. Been up that way yet, so. Let's see, don't really need the dungeon bricks or anything like that, so yeah, generate very weirdly. I'm surprised you got killed by that one sniper shot. Were you already kind of low on health or something? 
Yeah, does that same... Oh, finally, pardon. Uh, do remember, like, a uh, sniper rifle has a high crit rate, so I probably got crit it. Yes. Nothing drop it is telling them. Okay. Oh. Come on there, little summons. Protect me while I put these banners down to make room a little bit. Okay. Just in case another paladin hammer happens to show up. Yeah, you know what? Let's kind of see what's around here a little bit. Oh, welcome out there, Found uh, the Scara. How you doing? Found the paladin. Okay. Or no shield. Damn. Oh well. Uh, what are your hunting paladins? Oh, would you stand still, you little wraith? And them, they must be bad paladins, because, I mean, why would a paladin be in, you know, a dungeon like this? You know, they must be evil. <laughs> Yeah. Or undead. Oh, oh. Damn. Wizards just teleporting in. Oh, there aren't that many paladins showing up for some reason. Just getting enemies with rocket launchers. Teleport back and see what this hammer makes real quick. Okay. My inventory is to get a little bit full of just random crap. Sounds good. Let's see. There you are. Uh, paladin hammer. Fallen paladin hammer. 382 melee damage. That's material. And it can be made. Yep, that's, I think. that's why I was uh, looking for it, so. We have more than one, uh, of that other hammer, right? The pawn hammer, yes. Okay. And we have Scoria, we have Ashes of Calamity. Yep. Inventory, there we go. Uh, that hammer was in the warrior's chest, right? Uh, yes. You planning on building it right now? I'm gonna build one to see what it makes, yeah. Okay. There's a trap. A trap we didn't defuse? Yep. Make sure I create this hammer before I can do that. So okay. That so. pink brick back. Need it. Okay. I think probably you need those special hammers. Hmm. Okay, that one. Oh, yeah. 
with contain too many French pronunciations, even though I can speak it. <laughs> What's that? Uh, just gotta having just not tolerating Fontaine due to its uh, French pronunciations, mm. which I'm not surprised it was inspired by French. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you have other, you know, civilizations that were also kind of inspired. You know, you have the Chinese, you have the Japanese already. Um, you have pretty much like Holland, or I guess. Like Germany, I guess, influence with Mon you know, Monsat. So. In a tight forge. Okay, I've pretty much made everything quite visible there. So time for me to kind of head on back. Is a calamity with sudden scene? Yeah, there it is. Why do you need to make this again? And I need a mithril anvil. See what's around the dungeon here a little bit. And there we have it. Straight up godly upon making it. Oh, nice. And let's see what it makes. Crafting. Feather content. 676 melee damage. And it's still material. Wow. Luminite bars and sing Galactica Singularity. So this is a post Moon Lord. Okay. And the one I just made being Godly has 439 melee damage already. Wow. With a melee build, that's probably. This is a. What the? Did... Did I want to make you turn to me or something. What's that? Oh boy. So if it hits something, it's gonna go back to you, and if it hits something else, it'll explode. What do you mean it hits something else? Like, like, I just hit two animals mm -hmm. right now, in like, once when it went, when it came back, it hit another animal and exploded behind me. Okay. It is affected by gravity, this hammer, so... Gotta calculate that throw. Gotcha. And I'm gonna make this legendary. And see how strong it is with my current uh, melee build. Oh no, it won't go past Godly. Godly is his maximum. Okay. You don't want to go past Godly? Okay. Let's go build. God damn, with my physical build, this is strong. With my current physical build, I'm, that hammer's gonna be doing 634 physical damage. Damn. I gotta test this on something. 
but German is my native language, so that's why it's pretty easy. <laughs> You have, here, you have someone from make? Germany in your chat, huh? Yep. What's that one famous line that one person got it wrong? It's like a Ein und Berliner or something like that. Like someone was trying to uh, say, hey, I'm part of Berlin, but he was basically saying, I'm a donut. <laughs> you know, based off the translation, so. I forget exactly what uh, who who said it, um, but it was it was pretty, you know. It was it was obviously quite some time ago, but you know, I think it was. You know, the third potion can be made to something a little bit dangerous uh, for us. Uh, okay. It may say <laughs> and even. Stronger version of the blue candle. Uh -huh. Like the blue candle attracts attention. This one just enrages drastically every single enemy. Okay. Yeah, interesting. And what about this scent potion? Will it be the opposite? Yeah, the scent potion makes the opposite one. But I've never seen a peace candle. Okay. Uh, stretch. Uh. <sighs> Wonder what parts of Germany he's from. Berlin, Bremen, Frankfurt, Munich. Weapon for now. I had a good time when I was there for a short time. You know. I really love the public transportation system. Really wish we had it here really? in the States. What's it like? <clears throat> um, so um where i was staying they basically had um like um like trolley cars not necessarily like full-on trains just like you know um you know uh you know a little like trolley system kind of thing like maybe a couple car lengths or in size and it basically, you know, the, the the tracks was like all over the city, so you could pretty much use it to get around town uh, fairly easily, right? So, um, and, um, you know, um, I think, I don't remember ever actually having to pay anything. I think it was a free transportation system, so you could basically, oh, you know, that's take. Nice. Um, you could basically take it wherever you wanted in the city, free of charge. So, at least, I think it, it. It's been years since I've been there, so you know. Um, so I can't remember. So. Yeah, hold on. Uh, let me. Uh... Oh, so that's what this magic weapon does. Yeah, I was I was in the town of Bremen for like a very short time. You know, uh, about two months. So. Um, but, you know, the, uh, you know, they had rail lines all throughout the city, 
and or you know not not like rail rail lines but you know like the trolley lines all throughout the city i don't remember ever actually having to pay there so i mean it was it was you know just like all uh, or you know uh, paying for that specific like trolley um like i don't think there was any like like official tr ticket si system or anything along those lines so um but i mean um but you know the if you needed to go anywhere else in germany there was rail lines like all over the country and the you know uh, the t tickets were cheap so you can pretty much you know uh it was like uh, at the time it was like uh i think about 21 euros i think it was you can like buy like the super cheap tickets to get um to go from like city to city you know but it you know if you if you miss your train you you, <laughs> you didn't get a refund <laughs> So, I learned that the hard way. Missed quite a few of my trains. <laughs> you know, I took my time exploring Germany quite a bit, so. That is a lot of lava right there, my gosh. With a dead rail cart there? Hmm, interesting. Oh, down there, by the geode. Yeah. There's like a huge lava lake off to the left there, and it's like. Yeah. Um, and like right above it, there's uh, what looks to be like a uh, rusted over minecart. <laughs> so I'm just using my, you know, weapon right at this moment in time to kind of get an idea as to what is around the dungeon. Not that we really need, to do, and not that I really need to do that per se, because it's not like you know. Um, I'm gonna find, well, I mean, you know, you never know, I mean, you know, there might be some, like, little hidden cave or, you know, house or something like that with, that we haven't found yet, you know. Maybe. Little, little secrets, you know. So. Here's one paladin shield, I've not seen any other paladin shields. the paladin shield make okay it makes three things frozen shield material ventilation not bad puts a shell around the owner when below 50% life that reduces damage by 15% absorbs 25% of the damage done to player on your team when above 25% of life then there's Hero Shield, which this one can be made. Max life increased by 45, absorbs 25% of the damage done to the players on your team when above 25% of life. Enemies are more likely to target you. And Angelic Alliance, equipable. Calls upon the force of the heavens to empower your attacks and minions 
Yep. Courage, enlightenment, bliss, united in judgment. Plus two max minions. The fifteen percent increase summon damage and eight percent increase damage to all other classes. Yeah. Uh, plus two HP per second life regen while airborne using wings. Pressing X button to grace yourself with divinity for fifteen seconds while under the effects of divine bliss. Uh, for every minion you have, an archangel shall be summoned to aid you in combat. Each uh, empowered angel will instantly heal you for two health. All minions attack and flick banishing fire, and you are granted a flat health boost for of. Four health per second. This pack has a cooldown of one minute. That's a pretty busted item. Yep, pretty much. And but have... unfortunately, it can't be built yet. <laughs> you yeah, know, we have everything but the shadow spec bars. Yep. And we will need probably another shield since it has the shield for. The warrior to give it more health and immunity to knockback. I think I have a spear shield in my summoner already for that, so you shouldn't. Hey. Uh, at least I think, if yeah, I'm not the mistaken. The so. is material, which can be made from the same shield as well. Had a spare shield, we'll be able to make both of those. But... I mean, I'll I'll do what I can, but you know. <laughs> yeah, Italians are not being nice, aren't they? And eh, nothing, and nothing, you know, dropped so far. At least not from what I've seen, anyway. Yeah, we do need a cross yeah. shield. We need a cross shield anywhere. I haven't seen a frost shield yet. Why well, is that gonna be made? Frozen turtle shell. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill a few frozen turtles to get that turtle shell to the I'm not revoking any frozen turtle shell. So we don't have enough to make one of the shields that isn't a material, but will give more health to uh, the wearer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, what happened? Oh, uh, just so many banners. No. I just start putting them down wherever I can. Yeah. Ow. Hit my hand. Let's respawn naturally. The scorch summoning item. Um, 
pretty sure we have some of that stuff. Where's the fishing stuff? Okay, you get one of these. There's a quicksand. Go. to the ocean, hunt myself on sharks. Okay, so... Let's see. Kind of go over here, kind of open up this a little bit. Up that, and come back over here. Go up this way, kind of see what's around here, and then we'll come right back down and go back that way, so... Player. Let me go ahead and take care of those. And there's probably two more out. Oh, wait. Sorry. All right. Obviously, I can probably, you know, get through that floor a little bit, you know, later. But. Okay. I should find myself some sand sharks instead. Okay. Here we go. Another thing, if I remember correctly, some of the enemies that we need, you know, uh, some of the items that we're like looking for, like the um, like the megaphone, I think, like one of the enemies that you have to kill are the um, um, are the floating like um, skeleton heads here in the dungeon. So, so make it lucky then. Yeah, that's that's. What I'm also kind of hoping for that, you know, I might have like a megaphone drop at some point. But so far I haven't found one. So. Okay. I did it have like an R sound in it when it there is no R. Spot up here a little bit. And then and there's Risley and it's spelling's like really weird. Alright, then bring the 
something to generate sandstorm to get more of those sand sharks. French. <laughs> Mummy do some wool for metal. What's that? Oh, just a mummy died, but produced a wool for metal scrap. A mummy. Mm hmm. Okay. okay. Does seem kind of odd. In some ways, I kind of miss like one of the first summons that we got, you know, which was that one, uh, that one creature that was like from like the ice zone. Kind of miss that one because it, it at least when it went off to attack other, you know, enemies, it would also kind of light up the area as well. So, you know, it helped out on like, oh, there's another paladin. Oh, you're up there? Oh. Okay, you didn't drop a hammer. Uh, you didn't drop a shield, so. No. I'm gonna go back down to help do some fighting hunting again. Uh, I'm not being lucky with the sand sharks. area a bit. If you don't say the E at the end. Okay. There we go. Up there. And... Wait. Lynette. Yeah, Lynette was kind of always since I have uh, had actually heard the name before when I saw the stream when they, not the stream, the video when they presented it, the character. So that one I kind of already knew how to pronounce. Not Ferron. Um, Even though there, it's spelled Ferronet, it's pronounced Ferronet. For some weird reason. That's how Paimon pronounces it. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a, uh building strut so there's like a building right right above me Shields, we can maybe make the other the ice shield. Alright. Oh, 
actually that's the right way to pronounce pyramid. It's hard to explain. It, 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 the French is weird. <laughs> That's going afterwards. Closer and closer to my uh, toolbar. <laughs> I said I clicked on the uh, axe. <laughs> Oops. Don't really know. Ow. Go away, you damn wizard. But keep your um keep your eyes open for like megaphones and stuff like that as well. I know. Those are gonna be necessary for the uh the arc. Yeah, I'm not getting into flying skulls either. And the young shields necessary to make uh, one of the shields for warrior. Yeah. Flying head, give me a megaphone. Nope, no megaphone. <laughs> yeah, there's like two items that we still need to do, and I think both of them come from those little flying skeleton heads here in the dungeon. So it's like, mm. damn. <laughs> There's a treasure chest. Fontaine once I'm done with Plumeroo, which I'm pretty sure I still got a bit of a ways to go. Because see how long it took me to get to React 2. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Let's see. Yeah, I think I've pretty much... Okay, there are too many enemies down below, so we might as well start cleaning them out so we can clear out the cap. Yeah, okay. So now it's just kind of exploring up here. So.
Come here, Fallon. Give me your shield. <laughs> God damn it, you didn't give me anything. Murderous Keyblade? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see, who would be so murderous? Would it be Sora? Would it be D uh, Mickey? <laughs> Probably Mickey. Mm. Mickey's the murderous one, huh? Gotcha. I mean, because he locked himself in... within Kingdom Hearts, surrounded by shadows. I mean, anyone could go insane from that. Not to mention, lower ways, the keyblade he gets, uh, the second one is technically, uh, not a good keyblade, but more like a keyblade of darkness. Yeah. I still have to play, um, Kingdom Hearts 3. I still haven't played that one. Yeah, I haven't either. Maybe someday on the channel. Yeah. I also need to play the PSP port of it. Uh, was it was some Birth by Sleep, was it? Which one was it? That's technically uh. a prequel. I do need to play Birth by Sleep, which is another canonical one. Then there was the prequel. Yeah. And then came the third one. And I think they were all released on the 1.5 2.5 remakes. Yeah. I've seen yen. <laughs> well, at least you got one at Constellation 5 already. That is the name right there. Nogs. Nogs is throwing a party. Oh. <laughs> Random spike, okay. A lot of banners on me, so I might as well start putting them down. I first see this was Chi-Chi. And I heard Chi-Chi was... Pretty good. Well, I just need to get lucky from that standard banner to get Chi Chi. nice if we could actually you know create ourselves uh you know um or you know make our own banners kind of thing that's like hey i just want to have these banners for right now until end of time you know just let me have these particular banners don't change them on me i just want to keep on pulling for this one particular character all the time without any uh, without it ending <laughs> you know without it changing on me you know that would be nice there you go. Paladin shield. Nice. Yeah, I think the closest thing to that is the new one, which 
is still somewhat limited, but at least it lets you choose from a selection of five. Yeah. But it also, you know, goes away after a short time, too, so... Same or amount as the uh, limited banners. Yeah, I know. Paladin, but this one didn't drop anything. God damn it. Well, I guess I'm going turtle hunting then. No paladin is gonna drop me an extra shield. Just this one shield I just got. Then I'm just gonna go kill myself some ice turtles. And see if I can get myself an ice shell. I think I'm kind of slowly but surely falling asleep, my friend. Alright, you wanna call so, it? Probably gonna need to call it here fairly soon. Okay. So. Maybe we'll. Um, you know, I'm, I'm almost out of the. Uh, dungeon here so maybe you know uh at night we can go for one more round of fighting off the uh um empress to try to get sure. you know those uh weapons and um we'll uh You know, obviously, if we don't get them, then we'll uh, we'll try again next week. But yeah, you know, but obviously, you know, those those weapons would be really nice to have, you know, for a summoner build. So yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna head back for home. My inventory is you know, a little full, but you know, probably I probably could throw some more in it, but I'm I'm gonna head back. So yeah, yeah, so I got quite a bit already. So ta-da! Okay, uh, let's see. or maybe the. We're going to to test this weapon on the Empress of Light, the Fallen Paladin Hammer. Well, see how effective this is. It's a shame that it is affected by <clears throat> gravity. Okay, uh, I got two uh, magical books here called Magnet Spheres. Do you have them already, or...? I think I might actually have those. Let me check. <clears throat> Rest of the Ancients... Were they material? Yes. I don't think I have any. Or we used it before. Uh, sorry to me, let me check what it is. Okay. Uh, there's one, and there's two. Magnet spheres. Oh, I think I remember these. Where are you, guide? Ah, there we are. Here's some... What's that? Oh. Underneath the shopkeeper. Back here. Okay, now I need... Plasma... Dark Plasma and... The Spectre Bar, which I do have for this one. The other plasma will be the only thing I'm missing from it. If 
Wait. Alright, I'm setting the bolts. Potion, potion. Hmm. Someone regeneration. I... I did I not have that? I thought I had that before. Hmm. Defense. Okay. There. Just in case. Prepared and sell off these. Don't need these shadow keys. in there. Okay, murder key blade is non material, 117 true melee damage, so it's probably, you know I can I can bet get better melee damage with other weapons, so um I have an aqua scepter for ya. Blade, we can sell that one off, and I got mm, magic missile for you as well. You can put those on the mages one, okay? The magic missile made one or two things. Okay, there you go. Both put away. Furniture, where is furniture again? There's furniture. There we go. And now, let's see. We could sell off those four. And we can build ourselves our own hammer. For this Let's one, that's claw. Do we have any feral claw? Material. Okay. Just to make sure. That. Scory bars and ashes to calamity, which you need five per. Okay. That's 
there. And let's see. This is a fully missing or material two or three. What's that? Ashes of Calamity was thing was material two or three. Okay, there's the fallen pellet and hammer. Bam. And that requires the Illuminate Barner to build the and build the Stellar Contempt. So, and that is doing 425 melee damage at snail speed, though. So it's like, ugh. let's see. With my melee build, it's 583. Or superior, obviously. Um, you said that Godly was the best one out of it all. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't let me go past Godly. Gotcha. Wait, what's your damage on the fallen pellet? On my ha hammer. Yeah. Cool. On my current build is six hundred thirty-four. For melee, really? Yep. You're actually doing better than me. What 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 are you using, my friend? <laughs> me, the astral armor. And I'm also using a angry bloody warm scarf, which also increases my damage, my melee damage. Okay. Yeah, I guess I don't. And, I... uh, Wild Titan Glove. Which improves that. All I need is a Feral Claw, which... I don't know where to get one. Aside from chest. Okay. Where... Where do we put our, uh, do, do we have a dummy? We had a, nope. we, we put a dummy, didn't we? Mm, I don't even remember. Oh, it's not on this world yet. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, I'll need to... See about trying to build. Um... Yeah. If we're gonna do the Empress of Light, now's the chance, though. Right. Okay. Um... Grab some potions while I look for the fairy. Sounds good. Shall I move, um, move the citizens? Mm, yeah. I'll move away so that... Okay. Who, who are there again? The steampunk and the wizard. Steampunk. Let's see. Let's see, wizard, do there, and steampunk, oh, where were you, steampunk, there you are, there's the steampunk, gotcha, got them both moved. I'm gonna move away so they just teleport. Hello. Hello. They moved. Okay. Oh, 
have to have a sandstorm right now. Of course. That's long frame rate. I see a ferry. Okay. Activate it. Let me take care of Or wait, hold Let on. Let me take care of this one. Potions and... Okay, ready. Just getting, getting a little bit of a regen here real quick. I use a potion that, um, you know, boosts up my health a little bit. Okay, ready to go. Go ahead. Can't stay long enough where I can, so I can hit you. There. What the? Yeah, that was the hammer. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, that was a close one. Uh. Oh, I'm caught on that one. That's after and you it will a lot. Target me because, <laughs> because of the shield, probably targeting me. Why is it targeting you and not me anymore? I don't know, but oh, I'm dead. So, I'm still very much alive. Oh no, no, I'm the worst possible position. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, damn it. Where is it? No, 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 that was a hit. Oh, fuck. oh, that was a close one. Ow, jeez. I'm almost dead. Come on, dammit. Die. No, no, no. Ah. I'm dead. We I got died. her. We got her. And you got the summon weapon. You got a, you got something good out of that, actually. I saw it. That's actually the, under vanilla, the best summon. Ow. I think the hammer's explosion got it at just at the right time. Okay, hold on. Oh, I got both of them. Kaleidoscope and Terror Prisma. What the fuck? Ooh, nice. And that's supposed to be the best summon. At least from the vanilla standards. Here's the, uh... Here's the whip. Yep. And... You're gonna have to get rid of your summon to. Yeah, so. You got a lot of killer swords with you that will home manage the anything that shows up on the screen. If they even come, make it into the screen. Come, come, uh, follow me and... Let me get rid of my summons. I, need, I just need to find enemies here. Yeah, that's why I got rid of my summons, so they stopped killing. Yeah. Come on. There's some damn summons. <laughs> Well, we could always go oh. up, up, that, <laughs> zip, that zip. instant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and I think they do ignore walls. Now, mixing, of course, the whip, we boost damage and crit rate. Yeah, those things are going to be doing a lot of damage. But there's some enemies down here. Yeah, the... However, right at this moment in time, they are only doing a hundred damage compared to the hundred forty-three. But it's it's not you know I didn't set it up to mythical yet, or it's it's not like 
you know. They need a level up. Yeah, they don't have the 50% damage set to it yeah. yet, so. But they are fast. They are, they are definitely faster. Yeah, but I I feel like uh, it's they are um, like you know I th I feel like my old summons were like shooting things that was further off screen than what my swords are doing. But you know I don't know. The overall damage I think once you upgrade it might be better. Yeah. Plus uh, I don't know if it has any secondary effect like I don't know burn putting them some kind of burning status like the. Uh, Empress was. No, just... The Empress was putting a status element on me that was burning me. Yeah. Uh, the Terra Prisma only does insane knockback, and that's it, so... Um... The... The Kaleidoscope... There's a lot of swords, though. The Kaleidoscope does a 10% summon tag critical strike chance, so if I can... <laughs> well, I mean, if, if the enemies survived, and I can actually, you know, whip them... Um, you know, the then, would be the case. then, you know, it also does, you know, some, um, some extra crit damage into it, so. Yeah, okay, let me get the steampunker and the wizard back here. Okay, sounds good. So that we can get this pylon back up and running. Uh, and let me go ahead and, th and let me go ahead and throw these to you so that you have them in your, um, in your guide. So, you ready? Okay. Nope. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me get rid of those. There's the sword, and there's kaleidoscope. Okay. That's it. You were doing a hundred with those? I'm only getting eighty-four out of these. Well, I mean, I ha I'm on my summon build right at the moment, so yep. it's it's. You're making quite the boost out of that. Yeah. There are these graves. Yeah. It does look as though um, it has to be within like line of sight, though. It doesn't look like it can. It's able to attack anything that. Um... Oh, what the? Elemental. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Those swords were just dancing on it. Yeah, pretty much. That's probably the advantage. That was a constant damage, non-stop. That might actually make it a little better. Yeah. And once you upgrade it... Oh! Uh... Megaphone! Nice. Oh, right. Uh, of all places. uh, the pixies drop them. Okay. The we got the dropping. megaphone that we were missing. Nice. Okay. Oh, and if you use probably the summoner boosting thingy over at our base, you could probably double that. Or maybe get some extra summons. Yeah. Like that thing with the book underneath our base can give you extra summons. Not by many. It is it's like it adds like one. So but still, you know, that one. <laughs> yeah. Like right now, I got with my warrior build, I can have up to five of these things. I I can't even see how many swords I have on me right at this moment in time. It's <laughs> see, oh, one, you have so many. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten swords. It looks like. That's a lot of swords. Yeah. <laughs> that means a lot of damage per second. Mm-hmm. Let me put this okay. megaphone where it belongs. And here's the thing. Terra Prisma is a material. These Ooh, these swords yeah. are material, so... You might get something even better. Uh, okay, Luminite right Bar now. makes sense. So, you know, need to be post -moon Lord on that one. But it gives me the Elemental Axe... Slightly less summon damage, which is interesting. I must have something to it, a gimmick. There really doesn't look like there's any gimmick to it, though. Yet. 
<laughs> Wait, what? And then there's a dog named Baguette? Oh, poor little guy. Okay, so I need a plantation staff, the luminite bar, the life alloy, and the galactica singularity. So obviously, you know, can't really do anything with that right at this moment in time, but. So. Fate. Okay. I need you to make his hands on some ferro cloth. So I can upgrade this glove I have. Okay, but, Too um... speaking, I can upgrade and make one of the shields, but I just don't know which would be a better shield right now for my warrior build. Throw that back. Okay. For the warrior, there's two shields the hero shield. Which absorbs damage done to other players, and it's more likely to aim at me, gives me more life. Put that in there. Or the brush shield, which is, puts a shell around the owner, and the low is 50% HP. I think it's okay. Okay. This is it's Postman Ward. This one I'm throwing into the belt, so there we go. Oh, but the cross, frozen shield is actually material, so we'll have to make the frozen shield first. See what that makes. So I see we got frozen shield, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need. Okay, I'll throw that in there. Okay, now let's see. I have some potions there that I can get rid of. Um, that there, throw that over there. Um, put you away. Okay, and what did... Right, I need divine geodes to make. Oh, okay. Solar eruption makes the morning star. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Just need, just needs the divine geodes, which you know. Right. <laughs> we don't know where to get. Yeah. Don't know where they drop off at. So. Okay, so I can throw the solar eruption up here with the. Um, the dragon build here and you know just kind of say hey you know you need this in order to build the other one there okay now let's see what I can upgrade in both the whip and the my swords into you. I mean I have plenty of platinum so nasty yeah. nope bulky nope murderous nope yeah Savage, and once it nope. hits the best one it'll stop uh modif modifying you sure about that well it doesn't let me once I hit the best one I mean, I can. Like, I'm already at. Uh, I already have legendary on. You know. Yeah, but when you try to modify, it'll stay legendary. It won't. It wouldn't change. Mine at least never changed when I try to modify after hitting legendary status. Um. Okay. Well. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. I guess you're right, though. Even though it is taking the uh, taking the gold, that's that's interesting. Yep. Um, it it used to be. I I thought um, you could still kind of remove that bonus on vanilla. Yeah. So. Okay. Well. Let's see, nimble. Nope. Strong. Nope. Hurtful. Nope. Deadly, nope. Godly. Go no 
think it may be better. Time. Ruthless, nope. It's nope. Mythical. I think mythical is the best one. Or somebody, yeah, yeah mythical is the best. Okay, so, um, overall we have uh, 115 summon damage, uh, insane knockback, 15% speed, you know, damage, 10% uh, speed, critical strike chance, and reduced mana cost, you know, inc you know, even more knockback, 15% increased knockback, so it's like, you know, okay, <laughs> insane knockback is going to be even more insane. <laughs> And then, of course, my the legendary kaleidoscope is uh, 345 summon damage. So, well, up to you if you want to keep on using that or switch to the blades. So the the blades are constant damage on top of the enemy, like non-stop. No, no, no. The 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 whip is the adds. It's it's my it's my personal weapon, and you know you have the. You know, Terra Prismas are the summons, so yeah. So they they complement uh, complement each other. So so I'm I'm pretty good right at this moment in time. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else that I can really do at this moment in time to increase my potential in terms of um like overall damage and health right at this point for when it comes to summoning because you know the aside from in better summoning equipment at some point well yeah i mean obviously you know uh, moon lord and beyond you know would be better but at at this particular stage post you know pre moon lord you know, I'm, I and we think... we still haven't fought Ravager, so we don't know what Ravager drops. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm pretty much at that point where, you know, I have the I have the weapon and I have the summon that is doing, like, the max amount of damage overall. So. Let's have a better ice cave. What are you looking for? Frozen turtle shells. Unless the turtle shell can be made into frozen. Like, frozen. Hmm. Since we're about to I'm going to check. Okay. Um, still need, need to... That turtle shells can be made into frozen turtle shells. Yeah, still need starlight from Empress Light. But, you know, we can wait on that for, for light next time. Yeah. So. Turtle shells are in this, right? I don't know what the turtle shows now. Oh, we have one frozen turtle shell. Do we actually make that one or do we find that turtle shell? This is because I'm finding the regular one. So we have a turtle shell that we made into the frozen one. Yes, it could be made to frozen. Three for nine essence. Well. The only problem that I would have with these with these swords is the fact that they like block out everything behind me. <laughs> so if like you know an enemy like comes up super close, then I'm not gonna be able to see him. That is that makes it. Frozen one, which is material. Which 
to make the rampart of deities. As a start to fall and give increased immune time when damaged. Health regen. was not material right it's gonna be real it's difficult to get to That. Okay, you got trash in here to get rid of. very weird these swords it's like you know i i had like an enemy get close to me but yet at the same time um uh, to the to where it actually you know actively hurt me but uh these swords do seem to go through um you know go through walls so it's a little weird you know I'm not quite sure what's going on here. As long as it's like within screen, it'll attack it, regardless of what's in the middle. <laughs> yeah, medicine called mint in French. Would they be called mint? Uh, it is a cute name, I guess. Okay. I know you're getting really tired there, Jim, so we might as well call it here. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm gonna quickly save and it's it. Okay. Let's see. I'm late. Putting things away. I hurry clear my inventory. Yeah. in there. Yeah. Alright, grab that. Uh, 
Well, my friend, we we did some work. We did some work. Yep. So there's a couple more melee weapons that I feel can be built, maybe. But maybe. I need to I need to find like the right. I need to find where the um, um, where there there's like two weapons that. Either I haven't built yet, or I haven't found yet. You know, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. You know? So. So I'll have to tackle that next time. So. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Wait, we don't yeah, have. We'll probably that? next time I'll probably try and find some chests yeah. with. Feral Claw to make an improved version of the glove on my melee build. Okay, you know if you need if you need a hand with with that, let me know. So. I. Go ahead and save and exit. And yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna head off to bed myself. Sounds good, my friend. Sounds good. Yeah, really late. Yep, indeed. Um, mm -hmm. Tomorrow, are you doing anything with Blender or no? Mm, no, I think I'm gonna rest. Okay. And I, I keep on saying that I'm gonna be doing the Final Fantasy VII, but I I keep on blazing about. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, I I do want to finish that off, obviously. So, you know, I will eventually get to it. It's just I don't know. Um, I haven't lately. So, um, but you know, I'll do what I can to try to. To try to fix that. So, um, any any updates on your anniversary stream? Mm, just a few candidates for it. Like Fantasy Star Online looks like it could be fun, or Honkai Impact. Give that a go. Okay. Still like. I started maybe doing horror, but I'm also worried since I'm still in with the thin walls. I don't want to traumatize the baby. True. And I don't know if you really want to do horror for your anniversary. That seems a little bit <laughs> weird. <laughs> um... Beyond that, I still can't decide on what I'm going to do. I already looked at Fantasy Star. I'm pretty convinced I can run it. Like, the minimum processor is an i3, and I got an i5, so I should be fine there. And the graphics card, I'm not worried. The minimum was, say, 430, I got a 960, so I should be fine. Okay. I looked up a few other games. I looked up at Destiny 2, just in case. I keep on hearing complaints for that it's not beginner-friendly. Like What's tutorials complain out of garbage, and there's actually I heard of a game breaking bug on one of the early missions. Which which game? Destiny Two. Oh, right. Like I heard, like the tutorials are just completely useless. Gotcha. And now, like Warframe, everyone complains that the story doesn't make much sense because. <laughs> Nobody knows what mission you do, and it doesn't seem to have like any restrictions on what mission you can do. Right. When was the next Genshin stream again? It'll be on Wednesday. Don't worry about it. I'll be starting on Wednesday. I'll be doing Genshin and finish up that alchemy event, and probably work on some characters that don't benefit Jim and the stuff. So we shall see. Yeah, the although, yeah, is still Wednesdays and Sundays. You're gonna be uh, moving on to the next tier here pretty soon, though, right? You're uh, you're pretty much 
Yep. Mm. Pretty Almost much ready. Yeah. I just need to get some luck with some artifacts. Yeah. Um. Give me Shao's artifacts. If I can get something good for them, then I can already start making the two teams already. Gotcha. Um. I do have some. I do have two games that I um, check to see whether or not it is compatible with your computer, okay? Uh, look these up on Steam and check them out. And feel free to save them for next time, but, um, the, you know, basically I, I purchased like, um, I think I, I don't know, I can't remember if I like, you know, made the mistake in purchasing like the multi-pack or something like that, or like, you know, I purchased a pack and saying, you know, hey, friends, join me, and no one's like, eh, not really, it's like, oh, okay, well, fine, <laughs> um, but I have, um, two games that, you know, I, it's kind of in my Steam inventory that I, you know, yeah, I actually try to give these games away during my um, affiliate stream or affiliate celebration stream, <laughs> but no one showed up, so I was like, "Okay, <laughs> I guess I still have them." Um, but uh, you know, uh, basically the one game is called Gauntlet Slayer Edition. And the other game is uh, Payday 2. So. I think I have Payday 2. I think I got it back when they were doing like an anniversary giveaway before they released their updated version for everyone that had picked up the game already, mm. even including the ones from the giveaway. I think I have paid it to already. Okay. I need to check my library. Never played a game though. It's mostly focused on like multiplayer. I think. Don't we really have anyone to play that with? Yeah. And Gauntlet. I do not have Gauntlet. What are the system requirements for that game? Let me check real quick. Let's see, Gauntlet. <laughs> Very lightweight game. Yeah, OS is 7 or Vista. Processor is 2.6 gigahertz dual core. Yeah. 4 gigabytes of RAM. 2 gigabytes of available space. So. I have never played this game. And the last console I think I played was back on the SNES. Yeah. On an emulator. <laughs> yeah, I never uh, played through it, like, all the way. Like, I I did uh, play it, like, once. I think I did this. I, I think I played this on, you know, Gauntlet and Payday 2 on my affiliate celebration stream kind of thing. Because I was, like, on, you know, hey, I'm... I'm offering these games to anybody that's interested, blah, 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 right? But no one yeah. no one showed up, so I was like, okay, well, I guess no one wants them. <laughs> um, but, um, but, yeah, the... Uh, um, I have, like, a... Like, a free one ready to be just kind of handed out, so, I mean, if you... If you want to try it out, you know, I can gift you that, but, you know. It definitely looks like an interesting game to do at some point. Yeah. Just let me know if you're, if you're interested in it or not. If not, then no worries. <laughs> I'll I always play a variety of games, and I'm no stranger to top-down games like this. Yeah. I do enjoy the, these arcade-like games that every once in a while. Yeah. And it does build up after, after a time. Like at the the um, you know, for Gauntlet, you have like a leveling system on it, so like you can increase your capabilities on it. So 
Yes, they made it so to keep um, players coming back a little bit more. Yeah. So. So it's interesting, but yeah. you know. It is interesting. But, but you know, um, you know, put it as put it as one of the year options for you know potential anniversary if you want. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, I'm confirming payday two right now if I have it, and yeah. Um, there's also, uh, you know, um, you know, I I made this suggestion for Toontown if you wanted. Um, that's a silly game, you know. Lots of slapstick, kind of humor to it. So, yeah. but. You know, I don't know if you want to, uh, I mean, from, from everything that I've kind of experienced with it, it's, uh, the, uh, you know, you still have a fair amount of people that are still kind of playing the, like the players, um, server. So, um, So, okay, but yeah, you have payday two. Let's check the system requirements real quick. Yeah, we can run this game just fine. Even though it is the updated version, I believe. No, mittens don't do that. You know, you always go make me itchy. Yeah, so obviously, you know. You know, check to see whether or not you want to do, like, you know, uh, single player or multiplayer, and then, you know, uh, I guess put up a poll as to, like, you know, hey, you know, do you want, uh, or if you're, like, not undecided as to, like, which, which type, you know, you can always just kind of go, okay, I'm gonna, um, you know, put this up on a poll and basically say, hey, community, you know, what yeah. shall I play? You know, kind of thing, so. Yeah, I'll play, take advantage of tomorrow since I'll play taking a day off and look at a little bit more in depth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep me impressed. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know. Otherwise, I'm going to keep on playing Warframe on Friday, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know. All right, well, you have yourself a good night. Sleep well, and I'll catch you, you next time. Yeah. All right, bye. bye. Okay, and that's where we're going to go ahead and close on down for tonight's Terraria gameplay. So, um, sorry for, you know, it's going to be a little bit weird for those of you that are watching on YouTube, you know, the... Uh, I'll see what I can do about trying to merge both of them into a single video. Um, but uh, apologies to anybody that was, you know, uh, there's going to be like a slight, you know, obviously there was a slight uh, hiccup there. So, um, but I'm, I'm making some more room, so hopefully there won't be any uh, difficulties at least for a little while. So, um, I want to thank uh, the following people that were chatting with me today: Bleach, Dima, uh, Say, and Unsure Lad. Thank you for stopping on by and chatting with me. Appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, you all had a good time. Hopefully, you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, I want to thank anybody else that was just kind of lurking in the background. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the stream. Um, uh, check out the description for you know most you know social media links, um, Discord, Patreon, uh, Throne. Uh, check out links to um, uh, Team Robot. Yeah, you know the application for Team Robot. If you wanna uh, join, uh, join with that. You know, uh, join up with me, Blackheart. Uh, crazy and Kermit, um, you know, make it into something awesome. And uh, I think that's about it. So, again, I'll, I'll 
like all the work and on getting to Final Fantasy 7 tomorrow so um, but that's gonna be it for tonight so thank you very much for watching I appreciate it hopefully I catch you next time but until then take care have a good night stay healthy stay safe and I'll catch you next time